How to install VirtualBox on a Mac M1 To install VirtualBox on a Mac M1, you can follow these steps. 1. Go to the VirtualBox website and download the VirtualBox 7.1.0 ARM64, M1 slash M2, hosts DMG file. 2. Open the DMG file and drag the VirtualBox application to the Applications folder. 3. Open the VirtualBox application and click on the File menu. 4. Select Preferences and then click on the General tab. 5. In the General tab, select the Enable Experimental Features checkbox. 6. Click on OK. 7. Click on the File menu and select New. 8. In the New Virtual Machine Wizard, select the Install from Disk or Image option. 9. Click on the Browse button and select the Windows ISO file that you want to install. 10. Click on Next. 11. In the Name and Operating System screen, enter a name for the virtual machine and select the Windows operating system that you want to install. Refer to the IMG below. 12. Click on Next. 13. In the Memory screen, select the amount of memory that you want to allocate to the virtual machine. 14. Click on Next. 15. In the Hard Disk screen, select the type of hard disk that you want to create for the virtual machine. 16. Click on Next. 17. In the Storage on Physical Hard Disk screen, select the location where you want to store the virtual machine's hard disk file. 18. Click on Next. 19. In the Finish screen, click on Finish. VirtualBox will now start installing the Windows operating system on the virtual machine. This process may take a few minutes. Once the installation is complete, you can start using the virtual machine. Hi. There are a few things you can try if VirtualBox.dmg is not running on your Mac. 1. Make sure that you have the latest version of VirtualBox installed. 2. Check the permissions on the VirtualBox.dmg file. 3. Try running VirtualBox in safe mode. 4. If you are still having problems, you can contact VirtualBox support for help. Here are the steps on how to check the permissions on the VirtualBox.dmg file. 1. Open a finder window. 2. Navigate to the folder where you downloaded the VirtualBox.dmg file. 3. Right click on the VirtualBox.dmg file and select Get Info. 4. In the Get Info window, check the Permissions tab. Like this. 5. Make sure that the Read and Write checkbox is checked for all users. 6. If the Read and Write checkbox is not checked, click on the padlock icon and enter your password to unlock the file. 7. Once the file is unlocked, check the Read and Write checkbox and click on OK. 8. Try to run VirtualBox again. If you are still having problems, you can try running VirtualBox in safe mode. To do this, follow these steps. 1. Restart your Mac. 2. As soon as you see the Apple logo, press and hold the Shift key. 3. Keep holding down the Shift key until you see the login window. 4. Log into your account. 5. Try to run VirtualBox. If VirtualBox runs in safe mode, then the problem is most likely caused by a third-party application. To find the offending application, you can follow these steps. 1. Restart your Mac. 2. As soon as you see the Apple logo, release the Shift key. 3. Log into your account. 4. Open the Activity Monitor application. 5. In the Activity Monitor window, select the All Processes tab. 6. Sort the processes by CPU usage. 7. Look for any processes that are using a lot of CPU power. 8. If you find a process that is using a lot of CPU power, Google the name of the process to see if it is known to cause problems with VirtualBox. 9. If you find that a particular process is causing problems with VirtualBox, you can try to uninstall the application that the process belongs to. If you are still having problems, you can contact VirtualBox support for help. 2. Here are some known errors when installing VirtualBox on Mac M1, asterisk error 1, the VirtualBox extension pack is not compatible with this version of VirtualBox. This error occurs when you try to install the VirtualBox extension pack on a Mac M1 that is running VirtualBox 6.1.x or earlier. To fix this error, you need to upgrade to VirtualBox 7.1.0 or later. Asterisk error 2, the VirtualBox kernel extension is not signed. This error occurs when you try to install the VirtualBox kernel extension on a Mac M1 that is running Mac OS Monterey 12.3 or later. To fix this error, you need to disable System Integrity Protection, SIP. Asterisk error 3, the VirtualBox kernel extension is not supported on this platform. This error occurs when you try to kernel extension on a Mac M1 that is running Mac OS Big Sur 11.6 or earlier. To fix this error, you need to upgrade to Mac OS Monterey 12.3 or later. Asterisk error 4, 
the VirtualBox kernel extension could not be loaded. This error occurs when there is a problem with the VirtualBox kernel extension. To fix this error, you need to uninstall and reinstall the VirtualBox kernel extension. If you are still having problems, you can contact VirtualBox support for help.